Hi, today in this video, I would like to show you how to set the basic authentication in IIS Internet Information Services for ASP.NET MVC Entity Framework website. Okay, basic is when you are hosting any website on the internet by using the IIS, but you don't want to publish it to everyone. So, you can do some the limitation by setting the basic authentication in the IIS to that grant the permission for some specific person who has the account in order to access your website for testing. Okay, and then in this video today, I will guide you step by step on how to do the configuration for the basic authentication in the IIS. Okay, let's get started. Assuming this is the website, I want to apply the basic authentication. You see here, by default, this website is public. That means everyone who has the link is able to access the website. So, I don't want to do it public for now. In order to access the website, the user have to enter the username and password first. If the user enters the wrong password, so they cannot see the content of this website. Yeah, okay, here you open the Internet Information Services Manager on your Windows PC. And you take a look into the left hand side, we have some of the connections. And here, this is the MVC EF.local. This is the hosting for this website. And before you do some of the configuration to enable the basic authentication, you need to create an account for accessing. So here, I'm using the Windows 10, and you can go to the this PC, right click on it, and then select the management. Or you can open a folder, and then right click on the this PC, and select manage in the contact menu. Or you can click on start button, and type in the computer management. And click on the icon here, it will open the window computer management like this one. Yeah, make this one bigger. And then you go to the local users and group in the left hand side. Click on arrow button to expand this one. And then click on users. And in the main body here, you right click on it, select a new user. Enter the username. Here I will have the tab. You can enter the full name, the description, and then the password. There are some options. User must change the password at the next log on or other option below. I will uncheck this one yeah, because I just want to keep the default password here when I create a new account. And then click on create button. Click on close. Yeah. And you see here the new test account has been created. That means for now we can use the test account here for accessing the web application. Okay. Minimize this one. And then come back to the Internet Information Services Manager. You select the website, mvcef.local website, because for now we want to enable the authentication mode for this website. Okay, you see here, we have the IIS session and authentication. In order to see some of the option here for the authentication, you have to make sure you already install this option. I mean, you have to enable this option in the program and feature of the window. So here, because for now I'm using the Windows 10, I will guide you how to enable this feature in the window 10 you can apply the same for any some feature of the authentication in the window server of course it will have some the a little bit difference because this one is the window 10 and the other version is window server okay so here minimize this one and click on the start button type in control panel and then click on programs in the programs and features you click on the turn window features on or off it will open the window features, open this one bigger, 
and in the main menu you see here we have the internet information services yeah you click on blur button here to expand this one and basically you can see on my pc i already enable everything inside the internet information services folder yeah and here for the security you have to make sure you already enable the basic authentication okay and then after you select option here you click on ok button to enable this feature okay it will take some time to enable the feature on the window pc i'm assuming you already enable this feature on the window pc and then come back to the iis manager select the website and then select the authentication in the iis section double click on this one it will open another window and you see here we have the some option anonymous authentication asp net in person impersonation basic authentication this is taken or plan here yeah and by default the anonymous authentication option already enabled yeah if i go ahead to disable this one and then come back to the website i will refresh this one yeah of course you can see the error message unauthorized yeah that means for now we don't allow other people or anonymous user able to access the website and then I back to the authentication mode basic authentication I will right click on it click on enable button here yeah. so for now you see here the basic authentication mode has been enabled for this website okay and back to the browser refresh this one yeah you see here it will display a pop-up to say you have to enter the username and password in order to access the website called that so here i have to create a new account before so i will enter the account in there and then the password yeah you see here because i have to enter the username and password correctly and then you can see the content of this of this website i will open this one and open the incognito mode open this website here yeah cancel if I click on cancel button, that means I don't have the username and password in order to access the website, so I cannot view the content of the website. Yeah. Okay. Refresh this one. And then I back to here and disable this authentication mode. And back to the website. Refresh. Yeah, the ECU. And back to the IIS. Enable anonymous. And then enable anonymous authentication. Back to the website. Refresh this one. Yeah, of course, you can see the content of the website. Do it again. Enable this one. Enter password. Yeah, okay, it worked for now. Okay, alright. Thank you. And I have just guide you how to enable the basic authentication on the Windows 10. Yeah, basically, it's very easy. You just need to create an account for accessing the website and then go to the authentication mode to disable anonymous user access to the website and then enable the basic authentication thank you for watching bye bye see you guys in the next video